Let's do this week's Elite Balloon Areas. This time, I have another sub-boss challenge. This one's in the loop hard mode for Elite, and the hero is actually locked this time, so you can't choose Ben. You only have Oban. So this is going to be a problem because of the challenge, sub-boss challenge I am trying. Basically, what I'm curious to know is whether or not you actually need, like, 100% need farms to beat the Elite version. Like, what about other types of income, like uh, merchantmen, supply drop, all that stuff? Are we sure that's not good enough uh, to uh, be elites without farms? Now, that's also with no regal farming, so I'm not going to stall around for three hours to make infinite money, because that's kind of a cheese and not very fun. But I will do uh, stalling methods that won't take two hours. You'll see in a second here. For now, let me just start off with... Uh, Open and free dart, and uh, we'll try to see how long that lasts. So this would have been a better challenge to do last week on cubism, because there's a lot more water. I would say the merchant strat is almost as good as farms, if not better. Or even better if you combine both, but obviously I can't use farms here. However, this little pocket of water will help because flavor trades makes you lose money, less money from sellback, which is going to be huge. Like, probably fill the uh, water with uh, merchantmen, maybe flavor traits, and then go for uh, snipers. Snipers, supply drop for the income. Maybe a let's gold, rubber to gold along the way as well. And monkey city. Again, I don't know if this challenge is doable without infinite stalling. But we're gonna try our best. So we got around 17 merchantmen. I am probably gonna go for a let's gold as well, a 003. That is actually more efficient than going for a merchantman. Uh, for the rounds 28-38, that's when the nice clump of leads come in. Okay, so I'm gonna hold off buying this, and go for the let's go first. I think it's more profitable. Do you think now is a good time to try out the Sticky Bomb strategy for, uh, Tier 1? Like, a 104 Ninja does a lot of damage, and it's pretty cheap compared to, like, Attack Zone. So you see that? Lots of money this round. Make sure we get all the leads, nice. After the next round, I'm gonna sell it, because then there's like, only four leads on 45, and then none to 50, so that's a good time to sell it, and then use that money for other farms. So there's my first favorite trades. So two favorite trades. Should I go for the uh, Sticky Bomb now? How much money are we making around? 1,500 approximately, yeah. With knowledge, it's pretty darn close to that. I think I'm just gonna go for it now. Uh, let's see, can we even reach it? Still gotta wait a few rounds to get this. I feel like attack zone, I feel like the attack zone strategy, like, wait until round 50 to kill this, might be better just because this map is so good, it has so many loops. Either way, there's Sticky Bomb. Um, we should probably get working on that Maelstrom. Sticky Bomb Maelstrom, just use the ability whenever, uh, you know, we hit the skull. Should be able to afford this in time, yep, there it is. And I think from here we can basically just continue farming. So keep on, get four flavor trades first. And then I think we should go for um, supply drop spam. Alright, late Maelstrom. The totem actually helps a lot, by the way. Beautiful. Totem just to group the balloons together. Here comes number three. Or sorry, number two. Yep, one Maelstrom is actually beautiful on this map. So now that we got this... I'm actually going to get a discount village, because tier 3 snipers are pretty expensive. And then we'll start that spam. So how much is the supply drop? Oh yeah, it's quite a lot of money, like 10k overall for the sniper. But once we get one go in, like, then the snowball effect comes into play. Here comes the 5 eighths mark. Another well-timed maelstrom. Should do the trick. And here comes the last skull. So after this, I can probably sell the maelstrom, right? I can just, yeah, try to rush even more supply drops, like a greedy mf -er. So let's get rid of it. Fun fact, the longer you leave balloon areas alive, the better, because um, that means it'll take longer for the rounds to kill, which means you get more money from, uh, what you call it, the supply drop. So maybe what I'll do is, when it's like 1k HP, I'll even sell this guy, this sticky bomb, just to go full on sniper spam. Like, there's so much track length left that... Like, we, this can probably, these snipers can probably do 2,000 damage. So, yeah, I'm gonna greet so hard, I'm gonna sell it right now. Hopefully that's not a mistake. With that money, I can probably go for a third supply drop. What do you guys think, am I crazy? 
Oh, we might die to this Moab. Uh-oh. Brambles, don't you dare die to a Moab. That would be so embarrassing. There is the kill. Took long enough. I don't know, how's our farm looking compared to uh, what we normally have with farms? We have three supply drops, four flavor trades, about to get a fourth one. Okay, yeah, maybe instead of five, I'll go for Elite Sniper, because that's actually way more efficient than, like, you know, Supply Drop. It makes, the, the crate here makes, like, three times more, more cash. So, uh, and gives more damage to snipers. I would say now, now that I got Elite Sniper, it's a good time to go for Monkey Town. Um, I believe Monkey Town, well, Monkey Town gives 50% more cash per pop. But what I actually want more is the Monkey CD upgrade. I don't know when they changed it, but it now gives 15% more cash to snipers and boats. And that's huge. For the tiny cost of only $3,000, I believe. Yeah, 3k. Should be delicious. There we go. Monkey City. So yeah, I think that's how I'm going to play this one out. I'm just going to let this guy go while we do zero damage to it. And then near the end, we're going to drop a super brittle attack zone. And I guarantee I won't mess up this time. We got a really nice loop. That's why it's called In the Loop. Perfect for attack shooters. So again, keeping Blue Nereus alive longer is better for us because that means it's not focusing the wave, which means we take longer to kill each round, which in turn means uh, we have more abilities, more snipers, faster income. Oh, what I should also do, hold on, hold on. Um, a mob shove. I forgot I was supposed to also quote unquote stall rounds. And a very cool way to do that is to leave a mob shove just right at the back. So only that will be attacking the Moab, which means it will take forever for us to, well, finish a round. So see this right here, look at that BFB. Only uh, uh, mob shove damage and open, but eventually he won't hit that at all. Yeah, I'm gonna go for a tree and next. I think it's about time. Actually, hold on. I think I should get my attack zone brittle up now because, well, it's getting close and I need, like, $60,000 for all this. So, I would say, yeah, stop farming now. That is more than enough income we're making. Okay, maybe I should sell some, uh, what do you call it? One sniper, because I uh, think I got it a little bit late. Like, at this point, I should have my brittle. I should have my brittle. So, uh, maybe I should just sell some snipers. Yeah, I'll use the ability on this guy. I need to sell one more. Yeah, we just gotta sell, sell, sell all. Now, can we beat BFBs with this? I'm not sure. Maybe I just get a P training. That's good. Lots of Pierce. Let's just see how this first set of BFBs are. If it's bad, I'll get like a... A, a Maelstrom. It is failing us, so let's go for a Maelstrom. Alright, oh, Alpha, right. Okay, I'm gonna I'm selling a lot of my snipers. I don't know if I don't know if I like this or not. Either way. I just gotta go for stuff that can defend a crap in a balloon, so let's go for recursive. Along with the P training. I know it's outside the range of the boats, but nothing much I can really do about that, sadly. Hopefully we can defend that good. See now we're doing a crap ton of damage. I just hope it's uh Just hope we got it in time and that the BFPs won't kill us. If it did, it's okay, we can just rewind time. Yeah, it's defending just fine. But again, the further it gets, the less time we have to uh, kill all of this. I'm gonna start getting back my uh, bouncy bullets again. Greed is important if I have to be, if I want to be tier 3 to 5. Also, this is getting really late, so uh, we're dead. Maybe I gotta relocate my tax zone or something, because that's not good. That's not good. See this? Okay, we we got very unlucky with the spawn. Basically, we finished round 69 the moment the balloon spawned, so now we have no time to react. And I think I'm pretty much dead and have to redo this from round 60. It's not a bug, but it's very annoying because like when this happens, what can you really do? Aside from panic sell. And I'm the last person who wants to panic sell. Alright, so we're gonna rethink our uh, our timing for all this, okay? Death here. Start from round 60 again. Uh, we definitely overgreeted, that's for sure. Overclock tax zone. Okay, that's a good idea. It's just a lot of money, but 
it's probably worth it, eh? Last sniper. I think I just, again, gotta get Riddle Tax on earlier, so sell crap ton for it. Sell the entire farm for it. Okay, now that we're turning the bend, I think I'm gonna end the round. I'm gonna sell the heli. We're gonna stop doing the stall. And we're gonna focus on defense. So I'm gonna sell these two guys. These two for an overclock real quick. I'm really hoping this is good enough. I don't want to sell more snipers, but if I have to, then I guess I will. I'm still gonna go for like a recursive cluster though. Alright, looking good for the first tier. I feel like we are shredding it down pretty quickly. We just gotta watch out for the uh, the tiny uptime where uh, overclock isn't up. Also, I'm gonna buy a stronger elite sniper. Just for cleanup. See? Wow, sniper's cleaned up right very nicely right there. Again, I'm not sure how this is gonna hold up though. Please overclock tax zone. So far it's pretty solid. But I gotta watch carefully, because there's just a crap ton of stuff in the way. Overclock wore out. Overclock wore out. Now is the time to be extra careful. Because my tax zone's shooting very slowly. Very slowly. Got it. Two skulls left. No, it's only round 68 still, so... I feel like this is a fine strategy. Kind of expensive, but I really can't think of anything more effective. That's... You know, as cheap as this. Once we get to the last skull, um, of course, again, gonna sell everything. Alright, last skull, and my overclock is off cooldown. Ah, just great. Just great. I have it now, though. Got it. Please defend this last part. Please. Jeez, that was close. Alright, that's it. Sell. Before we get to zero HP, sell everything, and let's get back to farming. And the mob shove, of course, mob shove, mob shove. All right, that was a quick kill. Eleven rounds to farm is a lot of money. And GG, I can sell a lot. I can race again, sell everything, sell everything for more snipers. Okay, this actually really sucks because I wish I left Blue Nares alive longer, but I couldn't because my tax zone was was needed to kill BFBs. I wasn't able to sell till it was already down to like 5k HP. Now, what do I do for tier th tier 3? Normally, every week for Elite, I've always gone for a Temple. Yeah, I might go for a Temple still. But just get better sacrifices. So like for Magic, I'll go for Avatar Wrath. I'm also going to go for a Support Temple. Because that gives 5k around. And because I don't have farms, I need all the money I can get. So I might skip like Military. Which is like the weakest uh, sacrifice. Alright. Energizer time. Can't afford it. Come on. There we go. Now, all my snipers will be making 20% more money. It'll go 20% faster. I'm gonna go for a mo another Monkey City, because I'm gonna build my second sniper army right here. While I save up for... Whatchamacallit. Save up for what I need for Temple to beat Tier 3. For now, I'm just gonna keep on keep on greeting. The thing is, I can't stall this one, like I can with Tax Zone. We need to do damage faster with 2 million HP. Let's get it started. So I'm gonna put my Super Monkey right here. This will be the Temple. The Blue Anase is currently halfway through the first loop, and we don't have Mad yet. So that just goes to show you how awesome... How much money we're making with the Sniper Farm. So we finally got Mad. That took... Long enough. I, I want to go for an Avatar Wrath next. Avatar Wrath will be my Magic Sack. Like, with Snipers, I have to, like, spam the ability. There's no time to... No time to, like, relax anywhere here. I'm gonna work on my Call to Arms now. Into Homeland Defense. That will be my Support Sacrifice. So we're about halfway, and we got one quarter down. Someone tell me how to feel about this. Because I'm not feeling so good. Here's my Homeland. Now I'm just missing my Primary Sacrifice. My Primary Sac. I'm probably gonna have to move some towers out of the way, so I'm gonna start selling snipers. Okay, halfway mark. Still uh, no temple yet. No temple yet. I want to finish my off my primary sack. Skipping military, selling mad for it. Honestly, do we even need a temple? Because I'm actually doing a lot of damage. Yeah, that is that. That's 50k. So I've confirmed. I've confirmed I have 50k of everything right now. 
But I am not going to... Uh, I repeat, I am not going to get Temple yet. Because I feel I can beat this. I also don't have any more Cypher abilities because I'm, I'm actually stalling out 86. A long time. Notice how the abilities grayed out. I, I am going to go for Temple for, uh, what do you call it? Temple for Income. I actually am literally going to beat this. Tier 3 without a Temple. So, okay. I'll take that, to be honest. Don't die, also. Gorgon Storm. Homeland. I guess Homeland's really OP. So, yeah. Let's just keep on farming, then. Now that we've actually beaten Tier 3. Let me just spam this entire radius with, uh... Tier 4 snipers. And look at the round. The mat- the, the blue and Aries is this far in, and it's only round 87. So, you gotta thank the mob shop for coming in clutch. Okay, that's a lot of money. Let's, uh, get rid of the snipers. Get rid of the military sacks. Alright. So, tier 4 temple. This is a max one. Missing military. Let's do it. Let's get back my monkey city real quick. And, uh, well, back to farming. Again, another underrated thing about temple. The discount. So, I could do monkey city... And, uh, what do you call it? Discount. So, super cheap snipers that also make more money. What's not to like? Again, my finger is very sore right now. Let's get a real workout. And here we go. Um, I think we should stop sniper farming. We're actually getting a lot of money from all this. Look at that. I'm slowly dropping snipers, and I already have 100k on hand. So, what I should do with that is, well, go for a homeland. Just... Again, go for the recipe. All the recipe that I need for uh, to make a ventral temple. So there's my homeland. We're just going to use it immediately. I need to go for my MAD now. Somewhere in radi radius like this. Okay, what I should also do is go for uh, an ultra boost. Ultra boost, guys. I got to make sure I get those 10 stacks early. So I don't have to worry about them after the facts. I'm not sure on this map whether or not just a vengeful, like, solo, super buffed, is enough to to actually beat Blue Nairs on this map. The last tier, that is. I don't think I need a Paragon, nor will I even have the money to, but I think I might need more than just a Temple and buffs. Yeah, I think we're fine, too. Like, I don't really even need, uh, what do you call it? I don't even need a vengeful to beat this one, I don't think, because we're already a quarter in. And we already have so much HP down. Hell, I'll even go for more snipers, because why not? Just to play it even safer. Yup, halfway through, and we got half the damage through. I think we're fine. I think we're fine, guys, without a temple or a vengeful. Granted, this guy's gonna lose his range, so actually, maybe not. Maybe not. I don't want to buy more range, because, again, I don't want to sacrifice too much stuff. Yeah, temple stopped attacking, so that's bad. That's bad. Again, not much I can do about it, really. Alright, guys. Three more skulls to go. My biggest worry is, like, the spawns. If they spawn too late, I might be spooked a little bit. Because it's so far late. Right now, it's certainly fine, though. I'm gonna get working on my Legend of the Night now. That'll also uh, act as a good defense. Underrated, like, how good the discount is. Because it makes your Legend of Night cheaper. Makes it cost so much more, so much less to afford the stuff you need. Now my Anna has got to be out of range though. Alright, I'm going to have Homeland for the last Skull. So, uh, hopefully again I have enough cleanup back here. Need to get those fortified DDTs. Oh, uh, we actually almost died. I don't know if I'd like this. Uh, Anna Bloon ability. Okay, there we go. We nuked it. All right. We survived. We survived. Now, we just gotta get Vengeful. I feel we have enough farms. So, I might just stop sniper farming here. And I feel like it's enough to win this. Because I still have to beat this. I got 300k damage to go. Finish it off, and then I can stop worrying. I got 30 seconds of downtime between this and tier 5. I will dark shift now. There we go. And there's tier 4, again, 30 seconds, so let's 
We should probably start selling some, some snipers. Just to make the defense a little bit more clean. This is a humongous range. How can I make it tinier? I don't think I can. Alright, here we go. Do I even have enough to afford this thing? 540k. Maybe I shouldn't have sold too early. I think I'll just go for it now. Alright, screw it, screw it. Just gotta go. Sell everything I don't need. Alright. Let's see if I did it. Did I do it correctly? Please turn the right color. Yes, awesome. Quickly get back the buffs. So that means I do have to sell some of these some of these guys to make my vengeful a little bit stronger. There's my homeland. Now I gotta go for an overclock. Don't forget, discounted things make it very cheap. Very cheap. Gotta go for a perma brew also. Only thirty thousand dollars. I don't think I'm gonna sell any snipers for this. Well, I guess I'm just banking on the temple being enough. Temple and temple only. Because I still need to make money again. I need the money for these things, so... There's my Cripple Moab. I need to go for a Super Brittle now. It can be anywhere. I'll pick here. At this point, my temple is basically max buffed. Let me just go for one more for full uptime. And yeah, I can't believe Sniper Farming. Barely was able to squeeze this... Potential win out. I'm not gonna say win yet, but it looks really good. So like this will still come down uh, kind of close. Yeah, don't forget, the rounds are going by really quickly. I can't stall the round. It's already 1:30. I gotta kill this before 1:39 ends. So uh, just don't look at don't look at also like how far the balloon airs is in the track. Also look at um, the round. I feel like we're fine though. Halfway. We have more defense now than beforehand. How about a Master Bomber? Probably doesn't do much, but it's better than nothing. It's too late to go for, uh, whatchamacallit, Dark Paragons? Yeah, I'd say Avatar about to do pretty well. Oh, I forgot to move my Brittle. Moving Brittle is a good idea. I know Attack Zone doesn't do much at this point, but again, we're just kind of getting random crap. Random crap along the way. Alright, two more Skulls to go. We're getting very close. Honestly, what I should do is maybe um, do the... Buy and resell homeland trick to get homeland uh, um, uh, more times, more uptime. Right now it's missing a little bit. Although I don't think we need to rely on that. Okay, if I can defend the fortified tier, I win. So I'm just gonna put on first. Just to guarantee we're safe. Guarantee a victory. Good. Alright, that's it. We did it. Down to our last million. And there we go. I didn't know if this challenge was doable going into it, but I'm glad I know the answer now. It's definitely harder than, you know, uh, if you had farms, but it's certainly doable. You just gotta literally break your arm, break your hand, spamming sniper abilities non-stop for an hour straight. Cause that's basically what I did. Uh, total time played for Blue Nairs looks like uh, over 100 minutes, so uh, let that sink in.